many thanks Mrs H how are you doing welcome to Wednesday halfway again through the week uh, just a week and a bit and it's the big day itself Whew, this year's gone it's been a bad year for most people well a weird year isn't it it's just good job we can shave and let everything float away <laughs> right uh, I was sent a gift of a razor now then the razor itself is uh, not new to me at all it was a razor my father used but I never knew they did it in that colour the Gillette Slim Twist blue handle thank you Stephen Scott very kind and he sent me some packs of blades um, these I've used and enjoyed so thank you so much nice to have some more of them um, another couple of packs he sent of these Derby Uster, Uster, however you say it uh, people pronounce it differently so I'm going to use one of them today in this this is the this is the envelope it comes in obviously um, and this is it so Gillette Slim Twist blue handle they came in various colours apparently it's an unbranded blade it's, it's clear both sides but it is a derby Uster, Uster however you say it overhang of course on this razor excellent condition um, apparently they made a black handle blue uh, the, the cream ivory or white which I've got which is the main one you could buy here um, and I believe is a gold one in one country he said but it's only specific in that country I forget what he said now You'll probably put in the comments <laughs> in the message there. So that's it. Thank you, Stephen. Looking forward to this. It's another one for my collection. Um, and then I met up with uh, Chris from CB Shaves. Um, and he's loaned me some soaps and aftershaves to try. And I've done the same for him. Um, give him So we did a bit of a swap. Um, it was like posting post to each other. <laughs> Holy core, 1776. I've got to use this first because as soon as I opened this lid, oh my word. Absolutely stunning. And Chris, if you're watching, I scooped out where you were here. Guy looks deep, that, doesn't it? I haven't used a lot, honestly, but I used an ice, uh, ice lolly stick or a pop popsicle stick, I think you call them in the States. Um, our doctor used to use these on your mouth, hold your tongue down. Anyway, uh, I've just taken some out with that so there's no hygiene issues for you. Not that I'm sure he'd, he'd mind if I um, used my hand, but uh, gorgeous label. Eh? Love colour, love that. And it's a, a tallow based soap. So there it is. That's that. And what I've done, put some in the Captain's Choice original. Looks a lot there. Blob in the middle, then I spread it. So it does look a lot, but there's not a lot. Oh, the smell. The only scent, it's a very, uh, it's a gorgeous scent. Must, must, woody, which I love woody scents. I love must, musty scents. Musty, musky, musky. Musk, <laughs> musty, like an old piano. And um, absolutely stunning scent. Uh, I believe, was there some cit citrus in this? Citronic cit citrus. Um, fragrance, I'm not sure. But it's a gorgeous, honestly, can't wait to try it. The brush of choice is going to be the Grey Dog um, two-tone wood, like a checkboard, chessboard, beautiful thing with a synthetic knot, um, tuxedo knot, and it's uh, been nicknamed the Bishop <laughs> for the chessboard thing. Fantastic. So we're just going to soak and we'll start creating, I can't wait for this, this lather. Out of the puck, it smells absolutely stunning. Holy core, 1776. 
looks a thirsty soap so we'll give it a drink so midweek what's the shave of the day how has the week been for you be glad halfway through it the only time you'll say no is if you're off on holiday or on leave <laughs> Oh, it's stunning. Lathered up even. It's the same scent. It's gorgeous. Wow. Glad you put me onto this, Chris. Really nice. That'll do. We'll wet this old ugly mug. Glasses off. And we'll get going. Right, where's a brush? I can't see now, we're not glad. <laughs> oh man, smell this. Wow, I do wish, honestly, I wish this was smell vision This is one of those wow scents for me you think over the years you've used many scents many soaps of different qualities and you think you've more or less you've smelt most scents you're ever going to smell in the shaving world not necessarily so there's always something new around the corner thank you So heat the old, uh, I love this, and throw it a bit. This is an early Christmas present, thank you. Well, I'm classing it. <laughs> thank you, Stephen. Right, here we go, first pass. Gillette Slim Twist, Blue Handle, and the Derby Euster. I can't remember, Uster, Euster, however you say it. Center this man. Wow, very slick. I can tell without touching it. Tallow based, you see. Good stuff. No wonder my dad, he loved this razor. But there again, he didn't have a choice. He only had, I think he only had about two razors, basic razors. And uh, he didn't buy them for the looks or for the age or he bought them to get a shave done as quick as he could. Nothing. Like we are enjoying it. Absolutely stunning soap. I think I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to order this, I think. Myself as a treat. If you like woody, um, musky scents, oh. And what I class as a posh scent. Yeah, it's a nice slickness. Yeah, as soon as I took the lid off, I had to use this.
and um, obviously you don't need a lot of it because uh, I didn't certainly didn't use a lot in there um, firstly because it's um, it's not mine it's on loan and you be respectful <laughs> so here we go cross the growth the blade is lovely um, it's very it's not aggressive it's a mid aggression for me this there is that overhang to be aware of get slicker as you as you go look I caught there already I haven't started yet Feel that. Yeah, it's a nice blade. It's a very smooth feeling blade. Double chin. And very efficient. Looks like we've been having some tomato ketchup. That's lovely. This bathroom will smell gorgeous after this. Third application. This consistency is just right for me. And these little, you see these little nicks, little cuts. A lot of that is nothing to do with the tools. The poor, poor workman always blames his tools. I mean, sometimes you can get a not a very good razor, but I know these are good razors. It's uh, talking, lack of concentration. So it's all my fault, anything like that. Here we go, third pass against the growth. Slickness is beautiful. It's a good quality soap. If this was in my Christmas stocking, if this was in my Christmas stocking, <laughs> I'd be a very happy man. Anyway, I hope you're all having a good week and good health. Um, You know what time it is? Three, two, one. Pick up 
time, baby. So there's two little necks there. One, two. Now one of these, I did have a bit of a thing last week with this uh, moustache area, but I think, um, I'm not sure if this is a reopen. That isn't, that's a new one, but I uh, don't know why. Lack of too much jibber jabber. Here we go. Pick up time, baby. Very comfortable. Standard mid aggression blade feels very nice, smooth, yet efficient. Yet efficient, <laughs> not the blades will. I'm not sure I can class the blade to another sort of Oh, that is beautiful. Cold water, Welsh water. Oh, beautiful. And oh, new towel, Mrs. H. Thank you very much. Christmas theme there. Right, because I want the centre, the soap, and the aftershave I'm going to use now, or aftershave toner, I'm going to use Thayer's Unscented. I'm going to use that for a while. Unscented. Good stuff. And to be fair, it is unscented. I cannot, I don't like witch hazel scent. And there's just a very, very, very faint scent of it but nothing nothing to uh, it is unscented in my eyes good stuff now this is the stuff I've been looking forward to but I want this to be I'm gonna shake it um, look at that <laughs> it's great isn't it I'm gonna put the cream on first, aftershave after, it'll last longer. We're going to use Nivea Men Active Energy. And I would do it this way if, um, there you go, if I was going out or if I was using an expensive aftershave. There's a very mild scent to this, so it's not going to, oh, it's good stuff that, not going to hamper the, what I'm after, really. God, I wish you could be a hand with them feel that's very nice. Standard razor. They got it right as I said before the first time. Now this stuff. Oh that's nice, it's got a Oh, there's a bit of citrus in the, in the, oh, it's gorgeous stuff. <laughs> yeah, so it's like a toner in there. Um, so it has a bit of a protection in this, I think. That's 
that's lovely. Oh, come on, you got to sit up and smell that, come on. Get your snozzle around that. <laughs> I hope that means nose. That's lovely stuff. Really enjoyed this. So, quickly, before you go, we've used the Gillette Slim Twist Blue Handle, new to me as a gift. Thank you, Stephen. Um, I know the razor inside out. I knew it was going to be a good shave, uh, but I'm thrilled to have that as part of my collection. Um, going to have to go after the black one now. And the <laughs> so thank you. And the blade, the Derby, Uster, Uster, however you say it. Um, excellent. Very smooth and very efficient. Good blade. Grey Dog, the Bishop, uh, wood, dual wood there. Um, very nice, like a checker design, synthetic tuxedo knot. Beautiful. Captain's Choice Ball. Um, Holy Core, the 1776. I have to say that is one of the nicest scents I've had this year for me. Just give me that. As soon as you take the lid off, wow. Um, really nice. So thanks for the loan of this, Chris. I won't take any more. I'll give it you back. Um, and uh, we used Welsh water to rinse. We used Thayer's unscented witch hazel. And then the Holy Core. 1776 aftershave toner, I think it's called. Aftershave toner, yeah. It says just on there. Good stuff, really nice. And um, Nivea uh, Active Energy, thank you, to um, protect this uh, ugly thing from getting any uglier. <laughs> and that is it. So I'll leave you in peace. Um, so many thanks, Stephen and Chris CB Shaves. Um, Really nice. I'm going to have to purchase one of them myself. That's one of the nicest scents I've used this year and a nice quality soap. Many thanks. Have a great rest of the week. Some good shaves. Good health. Have a laugh. And I'll see you on the weekend for the Sunday Shave. All the best.